Welcome back everyone to Learning with Teaching. Today we're in Dynamics and we're going to be solving problem 16, 134, okay? So it says, block A, which is attached to a cord, moves along the slot of a horizontal forked rod. At the instant shown, the cord is pulled down through the hole at O with an acceleration of 4 meters per second square and its velocity is 2 meters per second square. Per, per second, I'm sorry. Determine the acceleration of the block at this instant. The rod rotates about O with a constant angular velocity omega equals to four radians per second okay so what we see over here is that we have well we have uh, our block eight attached by my point o and well technically what they're saying is that this entire rod is rotating about that point and about this point o and we have an angular velocity okay and what we're tasked to find is basically what's the acceleration of this uh, block a so we're going to start this problem as, as and as always I like to just write out my givens so uh, we can start with the acceleration of my block uh, that is given to me four meters per second squared however this is the acceleration of my block a relative to my point O correct so because I'm being pulled from here from my point O and this is equal to four meters per second square now what is the direction so if we pay attention they're giving us our x and y coordinates and my positive x is going in this direction therefore i am going in the negative so it will be negative i okay now i'm also giving the velocity well the velocity of a relative to o is going to be equal to 2 meters per second again it's the same direction so 2 negative 2 in the i directions meters per second and the last thing that they're giving me is that omega my angular acceleration is equal to 4 radians per second okay so now i'm also going to say that omega is the same as my ohm symbol okay so this is my angular velocity and the reason for me writing my angular velocity like this is that in this chapter which is basically our relative motion uh, chapter 16 and we're going to find this equation 1629 where they're writing our angular velocity just as the symbol that's just a matter of like like picking the same symbol for this so what we're going to do is that we're going to use this equation so let's write down that we want to find the acceleration of block a so my acceleration of block a right i'm following the equation above it has to be equal to my acceleration of another point relative to it in this case we're going to utilize point o plus the derivative of my angular velocity cross the distance of a relative to o plus my angular velocity cross product of a parenthesis my angular velocity again cross product of the position of a relative to o plus two times my angular velocity cross product the velocity of a relative to o plus my acceleration of a relative to o okay so since this is basically our main equation that we're going to use i'm going to start going ahead so and find out what we have and what we don't have. We are trying to find this acceleration of A, right? I'm a block A. And then the next term is, what is my acceleration of my point O? Well, again, if we go to the back to the problem statement, they're saying, hey, this entire part is rotating. However, if we rotate this, so right, like that in my next position let's just call it like some seconds after my point o will still be at the same spot therefore it won't be moving so my acceleration i'm gonna write it over here of o is going to be equal to zero the next thing so we have this one the next thing we have is this derivative of my angular velocity however my angular velocity it's a constant it's four radians per second therefore it's derivative it's going to be equal to zero radians per second square okay so now we have 
our derivative of our angular velocity. Now, what is the position of A relative to O? Well, if we pay attention to here, it's basically given to us. So we know that the position of A relative to O is going to be equal to 0 0.1 meters, okay? Now I'm going to put I and then meters. Why is this 0 0.1? Well, I'm converting these millimeters into meters. And if we pay attention from O, we have to travel in the positive direction, 0.1 meters, okay? So now we know our position, then uh, our angular velocity is given, angular velocity again, the position we just found, so we have all of this, angular velocity, the velocity of A relative to O, which is one of our problem statement givens, correct? And lastly, we have our acceleration, which was also given in our problem statement, okay? So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and plug some of these numbers and see what we can do. So we have the acceleration of A is going to be equal to zero plus, and then we have that this is zero cross product 0.1. However, since this is zero, all of this term will become a zero. So plus zero plus the angular velocity. So now right now I'm here, the angular velocity, which is equal to uh, four radians per second. Now I need to give this uh, direction, right? And we're in the IJK coordinate. And to make it simple, we're going to use our right hand rule. And we're rotating about this point O, correct? And the right hand rule basically telling me if I am rotating according to my following my thumb like this, correct? So like that is positive. Therefore, we're going to have a positive 4K, in this case, rotating counterclockwise is positive, and the direction is in the K direction, okay? So in the Z direction. Cross product, my angular velocity again, 4K, four in the K direction, cross product, my position, which is 0 0.1 in the I direction plus two times my angular velocity for in the K direction cross product my velocity of A relative to O which is negative two in the I direction. What I'm going to do is close this into bracket just do not get ourselves confused. We have to keep our cross products together. And then we have plus the acceleration of A relative to O, which is negative 4i. All right. So now that we have all of this, basically what we're going to do is try to add these terms up and do our cross products that correspond. So we have 0 and 0. Well, we don't need to keep writing those down. Those are just 0. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take kind of like a uh, side work and we're going to do this 4K cross product parenthesis 4K times, uh, I'm sorry, cross product 0.1 in the I direction, okay? So this is going to be the same as 4K cross product. And then what we're going to do is we're going to do the cross product of 4K and 0.1J. So if we multiply the numbers, 4 times 0 0.1 will give me 0 0.4. And when we cross product K and I will give me a J. So we have a J. Now we're going to do the same, but we're going to do the cross product of 4K and 0 0.4 J. So if we multiply the numbers, correct? So we will have uh, 1.6. And when we cross product a K with a J, we will have a negative so I'm going to write negative i. All right. So since we know that, we're going to write negative 1.6 in the i direction. And that's all of that. Okay. Now we're going to separate our, our side work. And we're going to do this whole parenthesis, this whole bracket. So we will have 2 multiplied by 4k cross product negative 2 in the i direction okay so the first thing I'm going to do 
Let's multiply these two with these four. That will give me an A in the K direction, cross product negative two in the I direction. If we multiply the numbers eight and negative two, that will give me a total of negative 16. And when we multiplied our K with an I, we have a J, okay? So we end up having minus 16J and we're done all the way to here. And then the last term that we have is this minus 4I. So we got minus 4I, okay? So I'm going to move our side work over here. I'm gonna push it down and I'm going to keep adding my terms. Now what I can do is add my i's with my i. So I will end up having negative 5.6 i minus 16 in the j direction. And my friends, this will be our final answer for this problem. So I hope you guys liked this video. Please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.